What are the things you can do to have a healthy lifestyle, you know, and a tight budget? And I'm, I'm just telling you, like, the doll I made was probably pennies per serving. The chickpea pasta puttanesca was literally probably pennies per serving. My, my ex-wife is, uh, you know, is, is, uh, you know, is not very well. And I, I went and bought her, went to Walmart, and I bought her three months of food. I mean, it was like an enormous amount of food for $500. Um, and it was just a lot of really just basic ingredients. I didn't buy processed junk. I didn't buy artificial food. I got her real food, you know, use root vegetables, potatoes, cabbage, onions, rutabagas, parsnips. I mean, these things last forever. Uh, they're super cheap. Uh, you can make cabbage soup. So there's so many simple ways to eat delicious food. There's a guide called Good Food on a Tight Budget from the Environmental Working Group. I think this is a myth out there that it is expensive to eat well. And I think, yeah, you may not get a $70 grass-fed ribeye steak or some heirloom tomato, but you can, you know, get a can of tomatoes. It's really cheap and delicious. And everything has to be organic. You know, if you want to avoid the most toxic foods, you know, go to the environmental working group site, ewg.org, and you look at the dirty dozen, you probably don't want to buy those if they're not organic, but you know, it's, <laughs> somebody, somebody, Rob is like, Dr. Hyman is making us all hungry. Yeah, butternut squash, and you get winter squash. I roasted some squash. I put some Vietnamese cinnamon, some ghee on it, salt and pepper, and roasted in the oven. It's just, it's, it's, it's I mean, you don't have to, eat, you know, caviar from Russia for a thousand dollars a teaspoon. And I mean, you can just eat real food. I just, I just hate when people feel um, confused about this because it's just, it's a myth. And it's, it's actually uh, what, what often the food industry puts forth, which is it's elitist to talk about eating well. It's elitist to talk about getting people off of junk food. That's all they can afford. And actually it's just not true. I mean, I'm eating like a king for pennies. And I think that's what we need to understand is possible.